This is Star Talk. It is. Is Brian here? You're Brian. Yes. I... You're the bartender. How are you? Did anyone tell you that there are constellations up here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what these are. Yeah, they are. This is very cool. I feel cosmic right now. <laughs> so I guess there's a lion, so which one is that? Tell me. Leo, Leo. the lion, <laughs> come on now. Very cool. Okay, so I'm feeling very cosmic now. So as you may know, Ebfra, before each one of our live shows, we, we gotta make a drink. Yeah. That's fitting of the moment. This is beautiful, beautiful. And tonight's topic is uh, neuroscience. And I'm trying to connect it to the universe somehow. The universe is really, really cold. You know what temperature it is? Three degrees above absolute zero. Okay? Three, actually 2.76, but who's counting? Okay. Three degrees. So it's cold and we got neuroscience. We're thinking brain freeze. A new drink called brain freeze. How about that? That sounds good. That works? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to think. What of your, your spirits are normally like really cold? I've, seen, I've looked in some people's freezers and there's a bottle of vodka in there. <laughs> that takes a long time to freeze, actually. Yeah, well, so, so it turns out, so alcohol is not water, obviously, no. so it doesn't freeze at 32 degrees. It takes a it's, it's, It freezes way cold, okay? Yeah. And so it'll work in any thermometer in the world, yeah. whereas mercury won't. Did you know that? No, if you put know. mercury in a thermometer, no. it freezes at 40 below. So mercury is no good at 41 degrees below zero. <laughs> it can't tell you anything. Wow. So you gotta put alcohol in it and color it. So they color it red typically. Yeah. So anyhow, so we got frozen stuff in the universe. So now I want to drink. And I'm thinking if it's the brain, the brain is like pinkish red. So what do you have that's pinkish red? You could do a Cosmo kind of pink. Cosmo, oh or Cosmo is pinkish. What, what gives it that color? Well the combination from the cranberry and a little bit of lime juice. Uh-huh, cranberry's good. Okay, like if we squashed your brains out, it would resemble this color at some point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I want something, to, it's gotta be really cold, so I have to be, have a lot of ice. Yeah. Okay. And especially with chilled shaken. Shaken, shaken yeah. yeah, yeah. Shaken, not stirred. Yeah, shaken. You shake it and then you pour it in the glass. It's, yeah. It has little chunks of ice when, it, when you strain it. Nice, yeah, nice, so nice. Okay, so it'd be this plus what? This plus vodka. Vodka, okay. Lime juice, and a little bit of triple sec. Triple set. We've got to make it a little different from a Cosmo because it's going to be our drink for tonight. Okay. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. So this, you got the color, you got the booze, and... Maybe like a splash, maybe a pineapple juice? Uh, let me think. Make it, because uh, that makes it a little more pinkish to so well. It'll be, make it pinker. Yes, it will. Rather than just pure red. Mm hmm Because once you drain the blood of your brains, it's pink. <laughs> I've seen CSI, seen CSI. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So this will line up. That'll distinguish it from a Cosmo. Yeah. Good. So what's the ratios of this? Let's try one. Sure. Make one. All right. Before we're done, you guys got to get these constellations. They're like real animals floating above in the sky. They've got it all. It's very cool. Not all the constellations. They've got one, two, three, four. There are 88 constellations. I remember because there's 88 keys on a piano. But you have to remember that there's 88 keys on a piano to know that there's 88 constellations in the sky. And there's a dozen of them up there now. I see, I see, who's that? That's Perseus holding this bloody severed snake for hair head of Medusa. I've got, uh, what else do we have here? I've got Lynx, that's good. We've got Virgo. Virgo. Uh, we've got, oh, Canis Ven Venetetsi. How do you pronounce that? The running dogs. We've got them. Oh, here it comes. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's brain color. Nice. Nice. And it's cold? Nice. Yeah. Let's check it out. Check it out. As a little bit of icy stuff in there. Yeah. Brain freeze! <laughs> this is really nice and cold, and it's very refreshing. And uh, I think this will work. Now, there are no limes in the universe. Just trying to think, what else can you put in this? I have orange. Orange peel. Mm. 
Cherry? Cherry. Cherry. Let's think about Cherry in the universe. Uh, I can't think of Cherry in the universe. Do have a lemon? Do you have an umbrella? Because you might want to shield yourself from the luminosity of the stars across the cosmos. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of a lime, orange. How do you get a lime or an orange in the universe? Not too sure. <laughs> Give me Jeopardy music. Dun, 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 Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody knows Jeopardy music. The think music. Part two. <laughs> Citrus. Acid. Okay, I've got it. You're going to give us a lime mm -hmm. as an homage to the fact that there are no green stars in the universe. There are orange ones, there are red ones, there are blue ones. There are no green stars. So as you drink your brain freeze, thinking of the depths of cold in the cosmos, it's a requiem to the absence of green stars. You've got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> Brian. Yes. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the drink. Mm-hmm. Mm. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Ah. This is really cold. <laughs> it's really cold. Excellent. This. I don't, he's, he's given me this to try to help me. In my day, we had to remember what the constellations were. <laughs> Nowadays, people are pulling out their iPad. Oh, I know what the sky is. Look at this. In my day, we remembered this stuff. Okay, test me. Hold it here. Ready? Okay, that should be Virgo. Right there on the left. Snake? Uh, oh, Draco, of course. Draco the dragon. Of course. Leo the lion. Uh, that should be Perseus, because he's holding Medusa's head. Good. Snake for hair, yeah. And oh, we've got the guy holding the staff. That's like the, the thing that medical doctors hold. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a snake wrapped around it, but I think they should. Cephas. Cephas, yes. He was a medical doctor. And normally the staff has the snake around it, which is the symbol of the American Medical Association. Yeah, Libra right there. Libra has two stars with the longest names of all the stars in the night sky. Zubin el Janubi and Zubin es Shamali. That's crazy trivia for you. Okay, what else you got? <laughs> yeah? Can you pronounce that one for me? Yeah, it's Canis Ven Venetici. So Canis is, is like canine, dogs. So it's the hunting dogs, which are these two dogs right here in gray. By the way, none of these look like what they do in the night sky. I think the Greeks, there was opium or something to help them imagine this. None of them look like any of this, okay? It's just, it's all pretend. In fact, we can do better today, I think. Yeah. There's constellations I think look like the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look better than the iPhone. Really. Or the flat panel TV. It's the stuff that matters in our culture in, in today. 3D, it's 3D, I'm in telling you. <laughs> you know, you have the, you know, the Prius. You know, there's stars that would serve our culture today better yeah. than anything that's up there now. Thank you all. Again, thanks for the drink, Brian. Yeah. How is it? Is it tasty? Nice meeting you. Yeah, it is really good. This is really good. I'm, I'm not sharing it either. Get out of here. <laughs>